My magic will tear you apart. Presto, blasto! I'm ready. Acquiring target. We have many secrets. F2L Black taking on Sun Shui from No Pros Here. And then after that match at 9 p.m. Eastern, we have a wild series from the Bron Brown Conference. We have Based Inc. from Haddle 2. And then we have Number Theory from the Caverns Below. And like I said, this is a very fishy day because we have myself, Brushy Tuna, as well as Dr. Fish. Dr. Fish, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good, man. Despite and then Go on. No, you're good. I was going to say, despite my football team being crap. No one so cares good. about the Giants. No one we're cares on to about the, the Packers, Giants, I know. And we're on to the rest of the Hearthstone tonight. And yeah, of course, Hearthstone, baby. tonight, we also have our legendary op, Hall of Famer, the most beautiful person I have ever seen, Saku. <laughs> <laughs> Going pretty good, Saku. Always, always happy to see you, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love the I'm pretty sure it's the same words, just different hype on different words each week. Of course. <laughs> Under the sea. But anyways, Under the let's, sea. Get, let's get to this hero series matchup. The Chronic versus Sun Shui. The Chronic has Hunter, Mage, Paladin, and Warrior taking on Sun Shui's Demon Hunter, Hunter, Priest, and Warlock. Dr. Fish, I'm throwing it to you. What do you think? think about this matchup here um interested about this warlock bring i know that zoo has still had some relevance uh since the dark glare nerf i'm very interested to see how that performs if it gets through bands which i mean i think it would um pretty this the lineup that shunsui's brought kind of gives me an indication that we're probably seeing the warrior getting dropped from uh from the chronic and then Looking at the Chronics classes, um, probably, hmm. ooh, maybe we'll see Demon Hunter get removed from this. 
Yeah, I mean, Demon Hunter is very good into the Hunter and Mage. Uh, you know, the Paladin likes to see Demon Hunter. Yeah. And depending on how good you are on that Warrior, you're also fine with seeing Demon Hunter. But, you know, getting rid of a matchup that 50% of your decks do not want to see is always a, a pretty good one, especially in Hero, which is uh, last year's standing format. Um, yeah. So, so the uh, the matchup charts matter way more in this one than then than you would in Legacy because you know if you win with a deck then the deck's gone but in, in Hero you win with a deck and man you, you just don't. keep keep on trucking with that same deck so the bands if you mess up a band in Hero it's way more punishing than it is in in Conquest so mm -hmm. any words on on bands okay. Confirm. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm. Mm -hmm. With Eminem. Yeah. But. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, digressing again. I mean, we we tend to do that, but that's all right. Uh, you know, uh, Sun Shui. You know, you might see these classes here, and you might think they become kind of straightforward decks, but uh. If I know anything about Sun Chewy, we're going to be a little surprised on some of these decks. Oh, yeah. The exact tech that's within them. Yeah, we're going to see if the Chronic goes to the Shadow Realm or if he gets to stay here with us. Well, if he stays there <laughs> with you two or if he joins me in the Shadow Realm. Yeah, uh, Dr. Fish is I, currently I, in the Shadow Realm. <laughs> got sent there week one. It's a rough time. You never get to come out. Once Sun no. Shui sends you to the Shadow Realm, you stay there. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Okay. Okay, Demon Hunter and Hunter are kind of the same thing of like yeah. what some of those decks don't want to face and the paladin yeah. kind of makes sense too because demon hunter doesn't want to see pally hunter doesn't, doesn't want to see pally and priest somewhat does. priest and probably warlock doesn't want to see you so these bands that make sense. a lot of sense uh so we'll give the players a green light here tell them to kick it in gear and, and start fighting each other in good old card flinging action yeah so who do you, who do you have on the right on the screen? So we'll probably. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Okay. Come on, Fish. I know I told you that last time. Yeah, I know that. That's why I asked who was on the right. It's right here. Look, look at this chat. Look, you even reposted it. Okay. Well, I was see just it. wondering if Sock could change You see it this? The... You see this? I did. I know. <laughs> I was just wondering if Saku changed it. I was wondering if Saku changed it on the screen or not. Nah, never Saku know. never changes. He's true to his word. And yeah. I'm, I was muted. Wow, that was really dumb of me. So. You were muted this whole time. Yeah, the whole time. Hi, so everybody. no one's heard you say anything. Hey, no. hey, Hi, welcome everybody. to the stream, Saku. We just had some random lull moments where yeah, yeah. we were all silent because Saku was talking. Uncomfortable moments. But, uh, yes, that's ah. okay. You're here with us now. It's all good. We got plenty of Hearthstone ahead of us. Let's see what the players are doing. And when you haven't even gotten wild yet, I'm excited to get wild. I'm I'm wild to get Let's excited. See. Does that Ooh. make sense? Yeah. No. All right, right. Doctor Fish. If you are the Chronic, what are you leading with? As we finally get these players in the game. If I am the Chronic, I am leading with. I'm gonna lead with Warrior. Nemzi. There's Versus enough there's Red enough matchups where Warrior is, is gonna be able to get a win and knock something Let's out some at this fun. point. That was the only, probably the only other class you wouldn't want to see. Well we're, we got a hunter from the Chronic taking on okay. Galacron Warlock from Sun Shui. Yeah. That was my I was gonna yeah, that would have been my second that would have been my throw out besides first the warrior. Guess, yes. Yeah, I would have guessed guess. every every other class after I found out I was wrong. Eventually, no. I would have got it right. No, I'm just kidding. I looked at I looked at it and I said it's got to be warrior or it's got to be hunter, and I was Inter wrong. Interesting. The sun. We did not play the spirit jailer on one. 
Oh yeah, that's a bit odd. Wonder if maybe a misclick or something? Possibly. He, he plays on mobile, does he not? Uh... I, I do I not know. I believe I played him when he was on mobile. Not sure, though. No one ever knows what Sun Chewy's really doing. Actually, I remember he was on he was on mobile when he played me. I'm not sure if he is now or not. Man, look at this mix of cards in Sun Chewy's hand. <laughs> we got Malicia, a raised dead, a shield of Galakron, a hand of Pudon, and a crimson hothead, as well as that spear jam we discussed before. Alright, and the secret here from the Chronic is Pack Tactics. So this is going to be bad news for Sun Chewy. And a transfer student. Is this Highlander? No clue. This might be Highlander. It could be, you're right. I mean, I don't know why else we'd run all these uh, plethora of random things. Sun Chewy plays around that Pack Tactics beautifully. Mm-hmm. It says you can have that 3-3 three, three beast, but I'm taking out your face stock, taking out your extra card advantage ability from this matchup. You've got me fired up. Alright, we're gonna raise dead to activate that spell burst, the crimson no hothead. Cooking. And we missed out on the invoke, but we got double draconic imp. Yeah, that's a that's unfortunate. Yeah, the state, that invoke. <laughs> to say the least, yeah. To say the least, that is, his, his disappointment is probably immense after that. Um, it does have the shield of Galakron for next turn. I, looking at the board, I would definitely say that that would be coming down here. Uh, perhaps we see the eagle horn bow come down from the I chronic? Wonder. Or the animal companion? We'll see. Hiya, friend! Greetings, traveler. Sun Shui realized he forgot to give the greetings of the match. Just runs it out there. To my side. Huffer. Always Huffer, man. Yeah, always Huffer. Home is Even when it's not Huffer, it's always yep. Huffer. All right, and Plague of Murlocs oh, oh, oh. off the transfer student, which is not, it's, it's okay. I mean, you're yeah. pretty much trading their minions for averagely the same stat of minions, possibly better. You know, Hunter really doesn't play those, like, top stat minions. Bunch of low-to-the-ground minions mm -hmm. on average. So we see the Wolf Pertinger get picked up off the uh, Scavenging Ingenuity. Scavengers Ingenuity. And this is the type of matchup where the Chronic just needs to keep putting the keep applying the pressure because Warlock can definitely <laughs> stabilize well enough to hold off. Warrior. Mm -hmm. After a while, I yeah. I would really like to see this jailer come down. So I think he's holding it because this is Highland. Uh, he decides to set up the militia. So I think that's the reason why he hasn't played it for so long. Casey yeah. drew a Zephyrus early. True. Yeah, that makes sense. If it's Highlander, you don't want to be putting stuff. Yeah, a little in little odd if if we are Highlander to be running these Soul Fragment cards in our deck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have not seen a two of at all in the deck, so... We have... Ooh, not, Take that, 1-3. Not... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Spear Jailer gets destroyed by the Dragon's Bane. There's... Hey, Highlander effects back online. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Now, this might be a good time as any to... Play Murlocs. Play Murlocs. Get rid of that dragon bane. Get rid of the leper gnomes. So you can get rid of the biggest murloc that's under four health. Yeah, uh, two, three, or the four, three. Your call. If you want to give him the rush here or not. 
I think I would have gotten rid of that four. Because if it takes four away from face for a turn. For sure. I mean, there are arguments of like, well, you know, maybe I don't want to give him the rusher back or something like that. Oh, I think I'm just get to Huffer again. This is just almost game, right? We're getting really close. Yeah. So gonna sure be, just gonna the slam stick. down the eagle horn. Oh, for sure. Sensui's just in a real bad spot. Chronic missed out on one face damage this turn. Some inf Maybe. insider information. Um, Shun just said uh, he had to ban Pally because F Pally. Ah. So. Uh, that sounds about right. Yep. Yeah. He's going to go for the school spirit. Uh, yeah, he's going to have to tap or play the hand of gold. Or, yeah, he's going to have to tap to hopefully draw some healing. Yeah. It's, it's just dead with the weapon. Yeah. Oh no, Gotta he had find to something. Uh, oh. Wow. Yeah, but Not we knew that Mermy was coming back, plus the hero power, so he still had yeah. three damage either way you look at it. Yeah. Bye bye. Warlock is Warlock's gone. Now Hunter's on the roll. I think at this point. Shinsu is probably going to bring out the Demon Hunter. Yeah. Or, or the Priest, depending on how the Priest is set True. up. Yeah. Because you know, if you're running like double Holy Novas, double Renews, and all that <laughs> stuff, you know, with double Breath and Infinite, you can usually stave off Hunter's aggression. So, yeah. uh, but, uh, just an instant message here from, from Shun. Um, he said, So my Highlander Warlock needs some work, lol. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah, just a little bit. More shattering though. Interesting to say the least. Uh, you know, maybe maybe you gotta cut the the soul fragments, but maybe they're too strong to not play. But it seems weird to cut off your own Highlander effects with the hero deck. <laughs> oh yeah, that would make sense. <laughs> Never thought about that. Whoops. Oh, okay, whoopsie. This is... This is not a bad looking hand for the chronic. Looks like he probably will just throw back the kill command here for Shunsu. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, you, theoretically, like, you can throw back the demon companion too for the chronic. Yeah, probably. You're right. It's a, it's a it's a debatable keep or throwback. As for Shunsu, he probably wants to. Oh, a full keep. Greetings, traveler. Hmm. I'm not sure about keeping the late dance or the Shadow Shark Mystic. But you 100% keep Shadow Shark Mystic in this matchup. Okay. Because you... that's, that's your AoE clear. You find one Soul Fragment uh, in your deck, and that thing's going to clear off just about the entire board, except for a buffed up Face Stalker that we now see yeah. in the Chronic's hand. Mm hmm. Yeah, Shard Shatter Mystic's one of those one of those keeps that against Hunter, you know. Yeah, it's definitely a, a good, um, good possible. The Blade Dance, not so sure about. I probably would have kept the Blade. Dance I would have probably kept all of Sun Tree's hand except. For uh, I would have kept the Panthera probably, but that, but I guess against knowing the deck that you're playing, probably yeah. not. Probably don't keep the Panthera. Uh, you can't. Oh, there's a horde pillager in here. You, okay. You definitely want. You definitely want to get like a jailer or something early, or a soul sh or a soul shear. Mm -hmm. Um, because that way, even on turn three, you can play that mystic. Yeah, Sancho, he might just have to coin equip I, the marrow slicer mm -hmm. to get some soul fragments in his deck. Yeah, I That's would bump the. Do. I think I would bump the four or five. Honestly, I'm going face this turn. Okay. Yeah. Shunsu agrees with you. Because maybe you could draw something to help yeah. clear her off at 4-5 or, or, you know, if he doesn't add any more Blade Dance, plays up yeah. the board. But... Right. Blade Dance does get the board done at that point. But now we got this Shark Satter. And now we'll have to bump it, but... 
I think bumping it last turn was not the answer. Mm. We're on five mana this turn. It'll be terrific for Sun Shui. Yeah, <laughs> I thought about that. I was like, oh man, if only he was on five mana. Hmm. Yeah, but we had to use the coin early because we needed it in here to turn on these mystics this turn. Mm -hmm. Job's done. All right, we're ignoring the face stalker. So, hmm. pack tactics and pressure plate up for the chronic. Now we see it's at least three secrets, which tells me there's probably also an explosive in the deck. Some people cut it, but yeah, uh, you definitely don't cut it for. I think you still run it. I like it into Demon Hunter. Yeah, I think there's some free damage sometimes. I think if you're gonna run three secrets, usually, I guess maybe pack tactics just come back in favor. Um, but a lot of a lot of lists right now are running four. Possible. Yeah. One pack, one pressure, one freezing, one explosive. Mm -hmm. But recently, I but recently I remember it being that people were cutting the pack and running just three. So I, the deck lists are all over the place. <laughs> all right. So heal weapon down for Shunsui. Oh, don't don't flood. You know he at least has a a, a mystic, mystic in hand. Yeah. yeah. Unless you're flooding the sage, like. Go ahead, play your Mystic. Like, waste your whole turn. Yeah, but probably, probably would have held on to the, the Cub. Yeah. Yeah. Especially in the case of possibly getting a kill command. Ooh. Double jump. Always double jump. Garbage. Yeah, always double jump. I I I realized that after watching my match back. Always double yeah. jump. I think I said that while casting your match. You did. <laughs> you definitely did. <laughs> That was a bit of a misorder to play the... Yeah, because we were going to Mystic no matter what that turn, so... Yeah. Uh... Okay. Yeah, we're going to get a full draw off the reader. Yes, that's real nice. So I'm sure we come up with something big. Even oh. Ugh. That didn't quite hit the mark. 50-50 and... on Horde Villager? Yeah, you gotta. He doesn't get it. No heal up. It didn't save him. I, he'd go up to 7 at the most. Yeah. And he's facing down 8. So. You possess true power. I think maybe I would have led with uh, the hero power mana feeder first to see if I could draw my other weapon. Yeah, but super, um, super close, though. And the end run. Looks like yeah. it does not matter. It does. You're right. <laughs> oh, my God. Well oh, Rafa. Rafa. Always Rafa. Yep. So we got 2 0 for the Chronic, the Hunter coming out strong. Pass face down this. Priest? Um, priest. Yeah. It's not that favorable. Depending on the priest deck. Again. Yeah, exactly. Depending on how you teched yeah. the priest. That was a really good win for that hunter because that because demon soul demon hunter is pretty good at, into face hunter. Yeah. Um but but it all depends on getting the on getting a lot of healing off of your your um war blades and just unable to find it. Yeah, so sure you only found six additional healing that game. Yeah, and that's that's not enough to stave off the aggression of that hunter oh. from the chronic. Yeah, Sean just a uh, message just saying you should have should have busted out the one three. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Anyway. Versus Rexa.
then coin out blades maybe. Give me strength. Uh, there are a lot of lines to be taken yep. in that matchup. Yeah. Highlander. Highlander priest. This is not. You're dead. <laughs> You're yeah. Dead. <laughs> Highlander hunter does not play well into into face hunter. Yeah. All right, Reliquary. Reliquary is an interesting good. play. I like it's it. It's a good start. Good start. Pain and suffering await you. Face talker dropped on one. Shot Chewie healing up that face talker. <laughs> Not even Anduin. Can't, can't even say the light shall burn you. That's all right. I know. Everyone knows the light burns you. Oh, yeah. All right. Pressure plate picked up. Oh, the chronic off that face stalker. Shansui did not trigger it last game, so he doesn't know that there is a. You can assume if you if you played against enough face hunter, you can assume there's a uh... problem. You're right. But there was like no general confirmation that there was a pressure play because I don't think he played any spells. Yeah. But he had three, and you knew about the freezing, the pack tactic, so. Mm -hmm. so. So you can assume the last one was pressure because yeah. because uh, you all sort of trigger. trigger. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Oh man, that Misha will not huffer. Misha's pretty good, actually. Misha's still pretty good. Yeah. Another face stalker here. All right, maybe this draconic study. This can get us somewhere. We need something. Bay Wing right. might have to do it just to mm. put some pressure on the board. There you go. That's some big pressure. Yeah, I mean, mainly he's just going to punch into this 4 4 at best, but. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you do it. That would be I'm, play, I'm playing the pack tactic if I'm wrong. <laughs> it would make sense to me play pack tactic. Unless he has two pack tactics in the deck. Oh, it's freezing. Alright, well that works just as well. Yeah. And that doesn't. No. Four attacks is not Shadow Word Ruins, friend. Alright, but we do get to turn on our Brittle Bone Destroyer here. <laughs> Kill off this Phase Stalker. You receive the bad news. Job's done. Now it's a six mana five four. You have thirteen damage out of the Chronic's hand right now. Yikes. Yeah. With uh, Eagle Horror and Bow and the Kill Command for the over the top damage. Yeah. Which at this current moment. With this, I, th I was gonna say maybe he just drops Polk Helt this turn for that Dragon Bane next turn. Yeah, Polk Helt pack tactics, probably. Definitely. There's arguments for the hero power as well, since we are holding on to Kill Command and Bow. <laughs> mm -hmm. I wonder. Still, still debating on which one is the better play. Quickly. But he's got to decide soon. Yeah, pack tactics be the right one, I think. <laughs> Hero power is just as good, but. Yeah. Okay, fishy flyer is not bad. No. Allows you to take off, kill the 4 4 and the 1 1. Oh, 
back up to 13 for Sun Shui. Oh, he's going for the pressure play. Okay. Hmm. Also, knowing that Polk came down, expecting a dragon being no dragon being dropped, I, I mean, I probably would have played the, uh, <laughs> but I think knowing that there's two minions, it's probably better just to do what, uh, Chronic has opted for, which yeah. is more pressure. I mean, you set him down to two, two, yeah, and you have five bursts. So, mm -hmm. oh, oh, is that death. first? There's some heals. Heels. Yep. So we got a heal face, Zephyrus, and then it'll guarantee us healing touch. Let's see what it gives us. Gives healing right, gives it to him anyways. I think, actually, I think if you're below four health, it probably, I think, think guarantees you healing touch. Probably. Hmm. Taunt would not work. Okay, I, I see the plan. I think he's gonna go for I think he's going for the spectral flyer play. Mm -hmm. If power is what you seek, what it looks like. This will give him the full clear and send him to eight, but he is still dead. Yes. Kill command in hand signals the end. Yep. Have three from Bo. Oh, plus well, the there's the extra, there's even another kill, another <laughs> one. I think you just Chronic play. can find lethal however he wants to. Yeah, whether he wants to go double kill command or just one, it is all up to him at this point. Yeah, I'd say he just brings out the two readers and then passes. <laughs> you have to read this one. Ah, nope. I'm going fancy and going straight for the kill. I had to play the reader. Let Sun Shui know you had it the whole time. And that's it. Do it for our first match. Oh, wow. Probably hey. Fast three up. Let's see if we can get Chronic in here for. Her. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. We got a little bit of time to kill before our before our <laughs> wild series. We got yeah, half an hour to kill. Might be able to get the uh, wild players to start maybe a little early. Yeah, maybe. Since we number are, theory uh, is uh, currently doing dinner, so they're, it's going to be closer to the start time. All right, okay. never mind then. I was wrong. <laughs> I will I will check in with them while, while we're doing the interview. Mm -hmm. That's right. It'll give me some time to watch the Packers drive right here. <laughs> Chronic is good for the interview, so I'll send them in here. And we need to pour, and we also need to pour another one out for Ron's Falcons this week. We don't talk about the Falcons. No, uh, oh, we don't. We don't need to bring that up. <laughs> they talk about themselves. <laughs> find the chronic first. Go. I don't know. Where did he go? Somewhere where I cannot find. He's still online on Hearthstone. <laughs> it's not because you got to find him in Discord. It might be Das Chronic, D A S. Yeah, I'll try that. Yeah, das underscore. Das. Yep. Das underscore chronic. Yeah, he said he's down. Oh, we uh -oh. know. Oh, okay. You guys got him? Oh, wow. If you guys can invite him, it's uh, not letting me invite him for some reason. That's right. his. Hey. Oop, I didn't mean to actually do that. 
Okay, so it just caps into the Okay. Okay. I got him. Got him. I thought we had him on here before. Hey, what's Baby, up? Maybe I don't know. Chronic, what's, what's up, Chronic? How are you guys doing? Doing pretty good, you know, long time no see. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> what, two weeks ago you and I you and I were playing in uh in Hero? I think yeah, each other. that sounds about right. That sounds about right. I think I lost <laughs> that match, right? I think so, yeah. yeah. But hey, but uh, you know, came back three out Sun Shui here tonight, all with that uh, that face hunter. Got to got to feel good. Burr. Yeah, face hunter does go <laughs> burr. <laughs> yeah, hunter go burr. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, it was um, it was a an interesting league because I didn't know what kind of warlock he brought and was kind of like try to scrape <laughs> a win with <laughs> try to scrape a win with the the hunter and then kind of go from there like i had all the yeah. counters planned and such but i just kind of kept doing its thing so i was like all right i'm here for it <laughs> yeah, exactly you you're probably with us in that warlock one where you were like i don't know yeah what's I, going on i like... saw the the gal the three one i forgot that it's name yeah um, the one of the invokes yeah yeah yeah, yeah. cultist uh, something like that i, I saw that yeah I dragon blight like, cultist i was like is is this is this galacron warlock in September of 2020. Are we are we doing this? Is this a thing? And then yeah, man, I, making a comeback. <laughs> apparent, well, so uh, he let me know after the match that that was Highlander Warlock. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. I mean, you know, it it is what it is. I wasn't expecting it for sure. <laughs> I don't think anyone would ever expect someone no. to ever bring Highlander no. Galakron Warlock. But you know, that's yeah. uh, that's the scary part of facing Sun Shui. Sometimes he just true. brings these off the wall decks and sometimes he just gets you with them and you're like what did i just what did i just yeah, face you know that's, that's what i was scared of because you know i've played a decent amount of face hunter and but not into galakron highlander warlock so you know i saw it out i was like hmm mm, i wish i would have unleashed the hounds on my list for this one but uh not it all worked worked out and then i got really lucky with against the uh the demon hunter the demon hunter, yes, I got really lucky there. It looked like he kind of fizzled out at the beginning. Um, he just didn't draw well, and then I just kind yeah, of yeah. He had he had good removal AOE removal for your boards, but had uh, had no extra burst for his warblade healing. Is all oh okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. like a lapidary or a twin twin slice or something like that. Plus, like in Sun Shui's hand at any point, that game would have been huge for him. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he still wins the game, but like it would at least helped him like get an extra few turns in yeah. that match so yeah no i think i I did see him misplay and he emoted where he dropped the wand maker before he dropped the three two yeah. that deals yeah. three yeah uh, uh, had he like i mean granted it's just a two two but that's still board presence that i would have either like i would have had to account it for mm -hmm. i don't yep. think it would have made much of a difference but it still would have made a difference there yeah um, i think i think you killed him like a turn or two later yeah and yeah, um, so <laughs> I, I was just very fortunate that my hunter decided to go burr and yeah. draw how I needed it to draw. Yeah. Yes. So let me ask uh -huh. you a question about your hunter. Was there any thought process in your uh, your secret package today? Or was it just like, you know, these are the ones that are doing well on ladder. I'm just going to copy that um, secret package and go. So me and my team, um, we and that's what I love about this team. And I, I love playing for him is we always prep. Um, you know, we we either get mm -hmm. a voice call or do that, uh, and we're kind of talking about it because I have uh, Rebob, Itachi, uh, Markshire, um, Kazagar on there, and they're all really good players. So you know, we've been all been playing different face hunter lists, and we came down to I think it's just one secret, one of each, I believe. So four total. Um, total? Were you running an explosive? Uh, let me see. I I was running one freezing, one pack, and one pressure plate. Okay, so you just total of three, no explosive in the list. Correct, correct. Okay, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a big fan of explosives when you think there's going to be any kind of like aggression coming out from your opponent. Yes. But, you know, those other three are still super strong, so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, the explosive got cut because he had uh, Priest and um, Demon Hunter. Yeah. Um, it wasn't going to be that prominent in the matchup. We were expecting Zulok. Um, 
So, <laughs> oh right. man, were y'all wrong? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, but no, it. Uh, I don't. I mean, freezing is nice for ladder when you're playing. When oh, you're absolutely. Playing ladder, I mean, those I those think... are the three for sure. You play on ladder, or pack, yes. freezing, and or, um, and uh, pressure. Was, um, Yes, and then explosive is nice for ladder as well. Um, yeah, kind of spoke, but uh, yeah, no, I, we didn't see it was too necessary in this matchup, and it turned out being just fine. Yeah, exactly. I mean, um, at, at one point you had all three of your secrets just sitting on your hero portrait there for a couple turns. Yeah, the, the, the best <laughs> thing was when I drew that pack tactics into where he had the the evasive evasive fey wing out. Yeah, um, dropping my uh, face stalker and then hero power and guaranteed me freezing um so that's why i went that route because it, it guaranteed getting that annoying five four off the board and i think running that one less secret was really clutch there did it did i i didn't think did we have a pressure plate in game three no yeah. yes oh, no. Yes, so was, yes 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 it was i forgot oh it was off the first one that's right that's right that's yes. right okay we did mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. something triggered it i don't yeah, yeah. remember um that is right my... it was yeah oh yeah the holy smite turn two because you want yes, uh turn right, one right. face stalker turn two hero power pressure plate yep that's right that's right yeah yes yeah i guess at that point pack tactics and uh and freezing trap kind of theoretically do the same mm -hmm. thing mm -hmm. <laughs> against mm -hmm. that five four removes it and leaves board pressure for yourself so i'm I, yeah. so i i'm gonna share this bit of info that i was really glad that i went 3-0 because i was playing big warrior and i haven't played a single game of big warrior oh i love that. um easy so... this, this is how you play big warrior you just don't win. die <laughs> cast commencement you hope win. to win game that's, that's what it, that's <laughs> and dimensional rick round 10 yeah. yes that's yeah. that's what i figured and that's what it looked like um because it was kind of just like hey the big warrior looks good here i was like all right let, put it in let's go yeah let's I'll go yeah out. actually he's yeah they're I'll actually figure right it about, out they're actually right about that big warrior would have been yeah. good to this uh to the, that the lineup only thing, yeah the only thing big warrior struggled against on hunter that lineup was the it was the hunter and it would have been um the priest it's it's uh yeah. 40 41 percent against oh uh, yeah you're right priest yeah. this priest has priest. so much steal effects so you Wait, know, like, were, mm -hmm. you're like haha here's my big idiot and they're like like haha like, thanks for the big idiot and you're like yeah right oh. I'll, I'll cast <laughs> yeah <laughs> you cry a little bit on the inside because uh -huh. you know your whole game plan was to play this big guy and now it's theirs and yep exactly like if yeah. you your rattle gore <laughs> oh it's over yeah yeah exactly so i was i didn't want to make a an idiot of myself on broadcast but then i had the the mage to back it up with which i'm very confident with so it, it all worked out in the end That's nice good. Yeah, sometimes you don't expect the three zero sweep, but you know, mm -hmm. face decks that do face things, you know, they just sometimes do whatever they want. Listen, I'm not complaining. I mean, uh, Shinsui, we we go way back. We've been on multiple teams. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. I was typing and hit one of my soundboard keys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Super Mario Shinsui, jump. We go, Wow. I, don't the, I don't have Mario Mario Jump, but so I don't know if you guys are familiar with the new Mario, how they took out some voice lines. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. So long, gay Bowser. So my friend, <laughs> my friend <laughs> changed his name to that on um, Among Us. So every time he gets ejected, I just play that. It's the funniest thing ever. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> um, That's classic. Yeah, I forgot yeah. where I was going with this, but uh, yeah. Did the, the thing right. face hunter go burr, yeah, burr. and then <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Excellent. Uh, thanks, uh, thanks for letting us <laughs> stream your match, and uh, yeah, thanks for coming on for this interview. Uh, I'm out of, of question course. for you, unless uh, someone else has anything for you before we let you go. Any, any no, shout outs to your team, AMA? Yes, oh, yeah. shout out, shout out to F2L, um, Rebob, Itachi, Mark, uh, Kazagar, and and I feel like I'm missing somebody. And then everybody else that's in that Discord anyway. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, shouts out to them. Um, and then I'm going to do a, a little segue into if you guys aren't doing nothing in about 45 minutes, I'll be streaming Among Us with Coles, Donde, and Gang. We'll have like 10 people. It'll be a great time. Nice. Oh, okay. So so Donde can play Among Us, but uh, he can't op Salte Saturday. Okay, okay. Yeah, there's okay, the priorities there, right? There's Priority. Once you hooked on the Chronic. You can't go back. <laughs> no. ah. Very true. Very true. Good point. There, you guys, yeah. I'll, uh, if you guys want, I have a whole discord full of people that just play among us. So I need to I'm sure. I'm sure if you post that in the, uh, the THL channel under other games or something like that, you can probably get a good amount of people to hop into it. That's yeah, true. For yeah. sure. 
yeah yeah we usually get like one or two lobbies going a night it's it's nice. a great time that's awesome mm-hmm. well there you go uh thl viewers at home uh if you're trying to play some among us after you're done with your hearthstone for the night uh hit up boy. the chronic yeah <laughs> hit up you your like, boy if chronic you're like, if you're like trying <laughs> i don't know if <laughs> figure out who the imposter is <laughs> it's not me yeah it's, it's Dante. Dante or me or both yeah. <laughs> or both <laughs> or both yeah all right. Well, thanks for stopping by, Chronic. Of course, I hope you have a wonderful yeah, night, and I hope you uh, hope you don't get ejected on uh, false accusation. <laughs> Here we go. All right, Jets. Have a good have night. night. Have, have a great night, night. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh, we got a little extra time here to talk about this wild match, and since it is open deckless. That means we don't have to play the fun game that we just played last series with Sun Chewy. Nope. We get to know exactly what's going on Damn. behind Based versus Number Theory. The bands are already in, so... All right, wait, wait, wait. Based bands Rogue. Number Theory bands... Uh... Warlock. Fish? I... His guess is as good as mine. Double mage. Man. Double mage. Okay, that one makes Double sense too. Double mage. Okay. Mage. Mage is so hard to counterplay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we the, the deck. The deck has right so now. much resiliency. So if you guys want to chit chat about that, and then we'll see if the players are in the yeah. ready box. Sure. So for base here, she does have a Malagos Druid with one spreading plague uh, over the normal. Sometimes people run two. Uh, and we're running the typical, uh, with no, actually no Geppetto in bases list this week. Um, sometimes it's run in there. Sometimes it's not, but everything else is pretty standard minus the Geppetto and minus one spreading plague. Uh, I think the one spreading plague has actually become more popular recently. Base is running but, Sathrafar. Yeah. That, so you, so the combo is, um, you know, you get to 10 mana, however you want, mm-hmm. right? You play Aviana and you yeah. play things, then you Coon. Play like an Innervate or a Lightning Bloom, right? Then you Coon, then you play Mally, then you play Sathravar, because Sathravar gives you a free Mally on the board. Wow. Um, then you go... Uh, sometimes you play Kel'Thas if, like, you need a combo with a UI, so that way it allows yeah. your UI to cost one, because you're down mm-hmm. to, like, seven or... Yeah, about seven man at this point on your turn after yeah. the first yeah. refresh of Coon. Um, mm-hmm. So then you play Kel'Thas, they'll board lock yourself, and then, uh, you know, you can send Living Roots, Moonfires, or Swipes, or the UIs to face. Uh, you can do a ton of damage real fast. Yeah. Uh, and then we got the Highlander Priest here from based. Uh, I'm looking for some interesting inclusions. Cobalt Spellkin, I don't normally see, um, but it's just good mana or good card generation in this matchup. Uh, everything else looks pretty. Yeah, everything mm-hmm. else looks pretty standard. Madame Lazul, I've seen in and out of certain lists. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, that's... Uh, another cool one players are ready okay yep. all right let me speed up okay. a little bit then and then we got the uh normal mechathune warlock here to round out bases uh lineup here uh you know you just draw a bunch of cards draw through your whole deck play doll master play a random spell play plot twist cast cataclysm win the game and then we'll hop over to number theory uh mage's band as well uh and then we also got a reno priest it looks like we are we discussed this earlier the number theory is running a darkness in their reno priest here to uh, yeah. shut off the mirror, uh, maybe hopefully turn off Raza or Zephyrus or Kazakis or something kind of early mm-hmm. uh, and really mess up that, that combo there. Um, the Druid is pretty close to the same thing, except for it's running the Yasuo Wind Singer, which makes all your spells cost one, but does have the Geppetto, but no, um, no Kel'Thas. So this, uh, the sale kind of runs the same spot as the Kel'Thas. Yeah. Uh, the only problem is, is it makes your move flyers cost one but when you're comboing off like that it really does not matter uh just make sure you order correctly and cash them in fires before you drop your seal <laughs> mm-hmm. uh and then to round it out we got mecha throne robe which i personally have not seen in a hot minute um you know you draw through your entire deck play anka the buried make your mecha throne cost one um and then you can do multiple different ways to kill it you can do backstab if it's the last card in your hand sometimes you do do secret passage plus the rated tooth Destroy the serrated tooth and trade your Mechathune into something and then kill it. And then combos the Mechathune 
insta win. <laughs> insta win. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I mean that's what it is. It's an insta win. It, it says, is an uh, insta win. If it dies and you have no cards in hand or no card or no other minions on the board or no cards in your deck, you win the game. So, right. um, Saku, you did say players are ready. So whenever you want, Saku, you can blasting them out right now. Yeah, send them out the airlock if so, they don't start so fish, soon. Who's who's gonna be on bottom? Who's gonna be on top for our viewers? <laughs> oh my gosh! Good question. <laughs> it's pretty. It's pretty easy. Yeah, the answer's right there. I'm. Why am I struggling with this? I should know. I'm assuming. I'm assuming that base is going to be top, and that number theory is going to be on the bottom. Yay, Opa! He did it. <laughs> it was just a matter of finding how you wrote it. Yes. Which is quite a ways up in our conversations. <laughs> <laughs> It's also on screen too, so if you're streaming, I mean that's that's ten minutes from now, soccer. Yeah, yeah, he can he can wait. <laughs> he can well, yeah. Let's just let's just, let's just wait ten it. minutes. Yeah. So Fish can uh, get this correct. Let's hold yeah. the players for ten minutes. Uh. <laughs> Please hold. They're off. Okay, they are in. We have base in with the priest. Oh, sorry, druid. And number theory is priest. All right. Uh, this matchup is incredibly difficult for the priest. The priest is looking to uh, get its dirty rat, time its dirty rat just right to take one of those combo pieces out of the druid's hand. Uh, if the priest cannot do that, it, it's it's over. Like that's priest's main counter way of uh, killing this druid. Ah, oh, yeah, stupid so, spectator bug. Yeah, I can't see base's hand. No. Couldn't see. I had it the other way around. I couldn't see numbers hand. Oh. But yeah. So so number number theory is just looking for a way to find a removal spell, find his dirty rat, and then be able to dirty rat out one of base's combos pieces. But you gotta make sure you still hit something of relevance. Like hitting the Malagos is obviously the best one to hit. Um, because I can still combo off. There we go. What would be pretty good. When was the last time you saw that card, Saku? Around forever. I've seen it, it in is... Mil I used to see it in Mil Druid. <laughs> oh, Mil Druid. I used to play that. For fun, of course. <laughs> it wasn't like I was trying to climb with it. But... I mean, Dirty Rat here would be super good if... Uh, for, if it's drawn in a couple of turns before base can draw another minion. Well, so that's that's the other thing is like most of the time, um, Druid really like on average does not have most of these minions in hand. Mm -hmm. um, so it's hard it's hard to know when to do it because theoretically they're only playing yeah. what, like five minions, right? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, <laughs> so you know, dirt and grinding at a at a random time is hmm. pretty bad. Yeah, there's um, five minions in this deck. Yeah, so you know, usually doing after a juicy psych melon turn is is the best time to do it. <laughs> Base right now, thinking between casting juicy psych melon or the overgrowth. We're gonna go with the overgrowth. Ramp up the five mana six for her next turn. And it looks like number theory. I I missed the Zephyrus picks, but. Definitely uh, picked the Animal Companion off the Zephyrus. Just looking to apply some early game pressure onto this Druid. That is that is a way that the Priest can can win. Just try to somehow kill the Druid first. But a lot of times this combo is way too fast. <laughs> like right now, base just needs Aviana. And yeah, that's game. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Uh, we got Living Rooms and UI. So we could just drop our whole hand, cast... UI draw, redraw our whole hand, and we'll most likely find enough burn damage. Mm -hmm. um, but two Malagos plus the UI alone is 15 damage, plus the Living Roots, that's rough 27 damage already. So it looks like we saw, I saw that was that first one was, oh no, that was the five pick. For some reason, I thought yep. they put the second, the first one on it, on a dime. 
Summon a 5-5 was- five, five demon and gain 7 armor. All right, that juicy psych melon will draw the Aviana. But I like this play. Yeah, just, just trying to stave off this, uh, this aggression here that the mm-hmm. priest has managed to find and put out there. But base is also looking for a Innervate or a Lightning Bloom or something. Something here as well. Yeah. What is a loon's will? But they shouldn't be too worried about this aggression. She is running. Um, she is running things like branching paths and stuff like that. Gain a lot of additional armor if she does. Your wish like, is my suggestion. She does need to do something. Zephyrus for two mana. Let's see. You want pain or power of the wild? Power of the Wild is the pick. Yeah, once again, just keeping the pressure on the Druid. <laughs> Moonfire pickup, so if base finds Enervate, Aviana, then uh, she is good to go. All right, there's the Aviana, so now we just need... Need an innervate. And one more mana. But I do love that you can tell how how much uh, number theory has played like this wild and like this specific matchup to know that their outs are the dirty rat pick off or somehow apply mm-hmm. enough pressure to yeah. To the druid. See the renew. Power word glory. Oh man. Flashbacks to that card. Oh yeah. <laughs> but we'll take we'll take the potion of madness. Mm-hmm. Just to be able to send all this damage. To the face. Down to five. All right, base. This top deck is huge. Mm-hmm. It's gonna need to be branching path. Shadow visions. Screen. Or psychic screen. It's not. It is lightning bloom. All right, base. What do you want to do? People are addicted to it. It's like we're going to UI this turn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. UI, moon fire, overgrowth. Ferocious ah. Howl and Swipe picked up here. For base. That house gonna be big. It's a lot of armor game. Theoretically, base doesn't have to do anything. Hmm. You're assuming the uh priest can't do an additional move. six this turn. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's the dirty rat, but no way to kill the Mally if it pulls the Mally. We do have death if it hits Aviana or Coon or Sathavar. But if it hits that mm-hmm. Mally, um, it won't do anything. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Nice psychic scream. So, I mean, you could psych- You can't dirty rat and psychic scream this turn. No, you can't. You're right. I'm, why am I getting? I looked at base mana, and I forget <laughs> that. Don't, don't look at the druid, druid mana. Base is yeah. a druid, of course. Don't look at the druid mana. Oh, okay. And I believe this is just I game. Hold is it game? Cards. I believe it yeah. is. Probably yeah. Zaviana, Lightning Bloom, Malakos, Coon. Yeah, you and drop the Mally and then refresh. Yeah. Refresh, Sathrovar. Double Mally. You can play the third Mally if you want. But she did. Yep. Swipe, Moonfire. No more nitrogen. Wow. 
stupid. 34 right. points of damage. <laughs> Just, yeah, just, just like that, just like that base priest, or base druid has beaten number theory's priest. Yeah, uh, I'm curious if we should have just went ahead and dirty red, because you know base had full combo in hand. Uh, maybe, maybe number theory was worried because there's nine on board. Put you down to 17. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I think I I think we should have went for the the dirty rat because the odds of hitting like Aviano or Coon or something, yeah, was good. But um, so what yeah. do you think comes in for base now? I, if if you're assuming priest, you want to play the warlock, obviously. Yeah. Um, and that's what we'll see. All right, this is a race. We're off to the races. We're off to the races for the combo. <laughs> yep. We have one of the best hero portraits versus the worst one, the of, worst all one of all time. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Who is it? Nemzy? Nemzy versus. No, oh, Nemzy's great. No, no, no. no. Hazelbark. The tree is, is the worst. Hazelbark is the worst. He's. We've gotten. We've gotten Brushy to admit something's worse than Cadgar, so. It, oh, Cadgar's always been second to last behind this gotcha. tree. Yeah, tree is disgusting. Although Cadgar existed before the tree, so it was worse for yeah. a while. The tree it was. Or... She's gross to look at. So she's creepy. She's yeah. so creepy. Probably looks better in Wow. He's got loving if she's in Wow. Come on. Ah, she creepy, bro. <laughs> All right, just gonna be a ferocious howl here from number theory. Mm -hmm. Lightning Bloom picked up part of her combo, starting to assemble itself here in its hand. Coon in hand already, but no Psych Melon. Yeah. But we has ways to pass. draw. We have branching pass and other ways to draw for sure. Yeah, and, and base realizing this Mortal Coil is not going to do anything in this matchup, and it also allows her to also draw just as fast. She understands this matchup. You gotta go. There's no And there's no interaction between the two decks. Like, the two decks just... They just do their own thing until one kills the other. <laughs> All right, base is going to plot to us here. Send his whole hand away. Hopefully, find more draw effects. All right, defile, defile. <laughs> Hemet, Hemet's not bad. Thanos, Dollmaster, Novice, Slarian, Tour Guide, Loot Hoarder. All right, so. Base just needs to find a plot twist. Yeah. I hope you like my invention. And uh, once she finds the plot twist, she can hem it, blow up her board, and we should be good to go. You could go with the Job done. the Dollmaster slaring plan after you hem it, wow, but like the odds way up. 10 man. Oh, yeah. You gotta go fast, man. Oh, yeah. Plus, it gets cards out of your hand for if you ever do draw that juicy Psych Melon. That's true. Because so. Psych Melon would, would likely draw the rest of the cards in. Uh, Psych Melon will draw Aviana, and then it will miss on either. Are we running south of our right? We're still running south of our. No, I don't believe number is. You seal. Oh, we'll right, hit. Right. You, we'll hit you seal. And we'll hit Geppetto. Oh, that's right. He was still running Geppetto. So yeah, we'll hit Geppetto, you seal, and Aviana if we ever find it. And that'll like be all the. And that'll be all the minions. Yeah, we might just see a defile here from base after an all-out attack. Come on, base, okay. send the face. Wait. It doesn't matter. Oh, okay. She knows it, the face damage is irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> the healing is more relevant. There's, oh, there's the, the plot, plot twist. twist. Alright. So we still need Mecha. No, you don't need Mecha in, in hand yet. No, no, no. no. That's what Hemet's for. Eventually. Oh, Hemet yeah, will, yeah. will find it because you destroy Hemet destroys all three costs or less. 
in yes. your deck. So the last thing you'll find is Kael'thas in the next game. Well, I mean, yeah, you just gotta... Yeah. So at this point, she can blow up her whole deck with Hemet, as mm -hmm. she's already hovering Hemet. <laughs> And this should just leave her deck as Kel'thas, Reno, uh, Mechathune, and Cataclysm. There's no Reno. Oh, no Reno for base. It's just, yeah. She took Kel the read. She took the read that there's going to be no aggro from her opponent. All right, so this Kel'thas, Cataclysm, and Mechathune left in base's deck here. And uh, she just needs nine mana for her combo. And she does have coins, so she does theoretically would have it next turn if these runic eggs would die this turn from mm -hmm. number theory. What was I thinking of again? She can go Dollmaster, coin, plot twist if she has all the cards in hand, mm -hmm. and then Cataclysm. But... Wait. Go on. Oh, yeah, that's right. So there's what four cards I in deck. Cataclysm, Kael'thas, and Mecha. Okay. Three cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said four and then named three cards. No, I said there's, so there's three cards. Oh, I, Cata, I heard Cata, four. Kael, Mecha. <laughs> I heard four in my head. Oh, okay. That's all good. I was like, what? I, for some reason, I thought there was only two, and I was like, wait, where's the Kata? And then I looked at it, and I figured it's three or less. <clears throat> all right. Number so theory it's... knows he's got to do something. But... Not he just sent himself to his own grave. Impressively done. As base will wrap it up here. Turned out nice. We'll doll master, we'll coin, we'll plot twist, and then we'll cataclysm for the game. Yeah. And we get to watch the awesome mecha thing animation. My people are addicted to it. Damn. Get out of here, tree. <laughs> no, number number three, just a little off. Um, yeah. You know, even if he did have one more mana for that living roots that was in hand, he would have only put base down the one, and base still would have had the lethal or, or the lethal on the comeback. So uh, uh, number three falls a little short in the in this combo matchup of the races, but not over yet. Still got to win with the priest. Yeah. Yeah, and this priest is, once again, like what I said earlier, uh, Dirty Rat, or try to find a aggressive line somehow yeah. enough to beat down the Struid fast enough, almost like number theory did um, before. So. Nice. But we already found Raza, so that's, that's a good start. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Like Mela in hand for number theory. We'll draw the rest of the. We'll draw everything but one of the ten. So we'll miss out on Aviana or Coon. All right, Biology Project in. In the juicy Psych Melon. All right. Raza coming down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Best turn five play in this entire deck. Oh, yeah. And base with the heal. Always got to heal yourself after you play Raza, even if you're at 30. Mm -hmm. It's just it's just necessary. All right. All right, there's Coon. So we just need to get the 10 mana now. Would have find an Innervate or a Lightning Bloom. And yeah. We have enough damage to blow this priest up. A simple spell. Right. Cobalt spell can. Cloning device. Ooh, and flash heal. Oh, it didn't work because he literally has yes. all the cards in his hand. Holy cow. Yeah, that. 
That I mean, that's kind of good too, because now you know your dirty rats live for their entire combo. Yeah, that's definitely good info for base. Yep. Renew. Definitely. Now just kind of looking, for, maybe even looking for that Anduin, just to kind of get some some rapid fire damage coming in here. So the Anduin's all right. Yeah, it will give you some good rapid fire. But damage it, but it will kill off the five fives, so you might not even want yeah. to do that. Just looking for your dirty rat and a removal spell at this point. Psych mount just to get a card out of hand. No point to hold on to that. Yeah. But he's gonna be able to swing at least thirteen this turn. Yeah. And then Wand maker. Wand maker's good. We can even Madame Lazul at some point and uh and like find swipe <laughs> just oh, for yeah. some additional damage. All right, we're going to copy the Razi here just to put more pressure on this board. I mean... You have to. I mean, this is just enough damage on board to win. So, yeah. I mean, base might just take this. Needs All right, something. Branching Path, oh, branching branching path, path is really there. Good. One draw? I'm not sure about that. Hey, you're fine. Base got... Oh, double draw. Wait that was That's such a weird play. Wait, why do we double draw? Why did you double draw? There's just enough damage on board. Game's over. Oh, wow. I was fine with at least one draw and an armor. Just 21. Um, yeah. There, there, wasn't any way... quite, there wasn't quite 21 on board, yeah. Yeah, there was 20 on board, so there's only two cards in the entire pre-stack that would have killed you there. Well, maybe mm -hmm. and three, so. Anduin, uh, Anduin, Zephyrus, and Spawn of Shadows. Yeah. Would have been the three, but base takes it in a 3 0 fashion. Mm -hmm. Went in a highly unfavorable there. I know. That, this that priest and the druid uh, matchup, but they we almost supposed, both pulled it off. It's right? crazy. We were supposed to start it. We were supposed to start this match at nine, and it's 10 after nine. We're <laughs> out of <laughs> matches. Listen, man, wild goes. Oh fast. my gosh. Yeah. The surprising thing was the, was the hero going so fast. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that happens with a face hunter sweep but that's true know, uh based baby what's going on based <laughs> hello you won base how, how are you feeling after that unfavorable win there um i mean <laughs> a little shocked like that seems super unfortunate uh kind of all the games for number theory yeah mm -hmm. uh like i knew that it was you know a lot of it was going to come down to how we drew because we all <laughs> we kind of had <laughs> A mirror lineup of combo decks. Yeah, combo decks plus Reno Priest. <laughs> combo decks targeting Reno Priest. And, uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I don't know if you saw he had, had uh, the uh, darkness in his Reno Priest. Yeah, right yeah. Here, did, which is yeah, a we sick that. tech. I uh, like he he had it dialed in much harder than I did. I I did not tech as hard as he did. So mm -hmm. huge respect for that. That was impressive. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, he felt oh. he felt just short in the Druid versus Warlock match. Um, you drew just a turn faster than, than he could. Uh, then yeah, he almost I, had you in his priest matchup versus the Druid, almost the same fashion that you just killed him in. Just all right, I'm gonna just put these dumb yeah. minions on the board and punch you. <laughs> yeah, like the the play to go Animal Companion uh, off Zephyrus on on two uh, was super heads up. Um, I had the plague to slow down. I only play one 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 plague so that was mm -hmm. uh very fortunate for me and then i, I you know i was gearing up for a kalthos cycle turn uh because i knew that all i needed was a couple sources of burn and uh some uh, an innervate yeah or a blood uh lightning bloom yep uh, but mm -hmm. yeah that one uh you had definitely the right game plan uh i was very of mind of pitching everything to look for uh, mind render and rat in my yep. priest versus the druid, but uh, with Raza in hand, I felt like I might actually have a shot to just take <laughs> just one go piece fast. Or, or like or play minions and hope he doesn't have the uh, all the the minions in hand right away, which he did. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I, I'm assuming he just didn't have the the burn to actually finish the game or, or do something. He didn't have, so he had burn. Uh, he had moonfire. Okay. And swipe, but he did not have a lightning bloom, nor was he like close to the ten mana yet. Yeah. So 
He had yeah, well, was, yeah. one turn off from having ten mana in general, and then had no innervate or lightning bloom for the for the combo turn. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. Yeah. In that in that uh, pull off of I guess it was I thought that came off of visions or some way you discovered the way to clone a five five that was yeah. Really yeah, it came off the it came off the renew. Renew. Okay, you're right. Yeah, because it wasn't yep. in deck. Yeah, I didn't have like five five is where you feel like okay, this is a threat. Mm-hmm. You know, it yeah. can threaten to end the game. So like I, at that point, I was just like, okay, I'll take renew off the shadow visions and see what I can do. Okay, I can actually make a threat this turn. I'll do that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. I mean, heads up on the Zola cop- copying the Raza as well, just to put another five five down on the board there on turn eight. You know, yeah. Just oh yeah. You know, obviously, both of you knew this match and knew that matchup very well. Of, well, I'm dead if I just give them all the time in the world. So I gotta, I gotta do something. <laughs> yeah, like the the wild combos. Like, uh, what was it? I pulled off Mechathune on turn seven or eight. Uh, turn seven or turn eight would have been yeah, yeah turn eight because you had yeah. ten mana at the start of your turn. So. I imagine Druid was kind of the same. Like yep. it. You just go so fast with your combo decks. Um, yep. Yeah. It seemed, it seemed kind of painful with the last game there where he had to kind of even wait till turn 10 to kind of do his thing while all this damage is just piling on. <laughs> well, if yeah. you yeah. think about it, it really was like, yeah, I guess it was. He didn't really have that much ramp, but just with the nope. one biology project. So, yeah. Yep. So he died turn nine to just base his aggression from the, uh, yep. from the priest. But maybe, uh, he could have lived at least another turn. All he had to do was press armor up once on the uh, on that branching pad. That's maybe maybe a misclick, I, or maybe I don't I don't know wait. the theory behind that one. Now, like, okay, uh, let me pull this list because I was trying to see how many spreading plagues. But wouldn't wouldn't double armor there? Be He's double better too. He's double. Uh, so two, you needed two you needed to draw you needed to draw one for sure one off the. Branching yeah, because if you found it. if you found an innervate off that draw, you win the next turn. Okay, so it, like you could have won double to play the safe one, but like you know the draw plus an armor not only prevented base from swinging for lethal that turn, but the one extra draw could have been that lightning bloom or the innervate mm-hmm. to win the following turn. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, uh, like I I think that going there's definitely I I don't know the hand, so I can't tell you for sure, but yeah, there might have been just a I have to draw into like. Maybe maybe a ferocious howl or something like I have to yeah. draw into the draw into like so that way, uh, or like draw into the other branching path so that he can then draw yeah. again and armor. Like, he did have it, biology it have like project, that. so maybe he was doing double draw as well to maybe hit a spreading plague out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so okay, I, I'm a, okay now. That I really think about that. Yeah, the double draw makes sense then. You yeah, know, like, uh, there's, yeah, a there's, there's a lot of outs. There's a lot of hits. Yeah. Yeah. If, if that second draw doesn't save you, like the armor up didn't save you either, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You draw once to see what your outs are, and then decide from there. I mean, the the one armor up does save him for a turn, for yeah, sure. Yeah, but like you're still you're just drawing that card that you drew off the second. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Right. You're not wrong. So like, I, I guess like if if that means that like if he had hit an innervate on the second draw, and like then would have died because he didn't get to that next turn. Maybe maybe then, but that's the only situation where I don't, I think that. They're like going the for the armor, armor up. Yeah, it was needed. Mm-hmm. That makes sense now. Now truly breaking it down and putting it out there. You got you got to play to win. Can't just yeah. play to survive. Is what is what I he was know. doing. I, I play to survive when I play wild because <laughs> 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 things things get crazy fast, and I'm like, man, I I don't know what they're gonna do next turn. <laughs> Especially against like Reno Priest when they have like six to seven discovered cards in hand, and I'm like, man. <laughs> Uh, those just those cards are to kill you later with the uh, yeah exactly showers. yeah they, they don't they don't want to spend those cards either fair you know but uh you know once again congrats on the on the three zero tonight yes thank you yeah huge uh any any last shout outs from uh from you based or um uh, I just you know like I don't think number theory is known that much on uh, THL I'll give him a huge shout out you know uh, excellent player um, like just recently picked up the game is really dove in and mm-hmm. he's just a great teammate to have you know I played with him last season but it was fun to get to play him again yeah absolutely yeah you could I could definitely tell just sitting here being able to watch number three's hand and 
how they navigated their hand every game. I could tell that uh, they definitely seem to have a good amount of knowledge of the wild metagame and exactly what to do in matchups. Yeah. So that was uh, that was exciting to see. I forget. I was like preparing uh, last week or something, and I, I was like, I'm going to bring this deck, and Hat goes, oh, talk to Number Theory about that. It's like, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> no offense, it's, it's advice from the other team when I'm going to play him the next week, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, so I didn't, but you know, yeah. it's like that, that's that's the kind of player the number theory is where Hat is like, hey, go talk to him. He's got the advice on it. Yeah, that's how you know you made it. If Hat sends you somewhere, that's yeah. how you know that you made it. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> our hat our head said come talk to you. And you just your yeah, heart just we're, feels we're, so we're happy. Yeah, this week. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, it wasn't for this week, you know, it's for, yeah, it was for, for last, last week. week. Yeah. It'd just be funny. <laughs> just be funny. Funny story. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, thanks for thanks for coming on base. Thanks for letting us stream your stream your wild match. As always, it's a pleasure to watch you play some Hearthstone. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah. Thank you for casting. You got it. No problem. No problem. I'm always I'm always here. Saku doesn't let me leave. I'm just always in this call. <laughs> if you look yeah. at this if you look at this group chat at any given time, I have to be in here because if Saku sees me and not in here, I get in trouble. He left one time. Yeah. I had to drag um, back. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> silence from the crowd. I I'm a little speechless. I did I did not know how to, how to respond after that, even though I set it up. Uh, but anyways, once again, thanks, Mace. Have a hope you have a wonderful night. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the season for all the series that you are in for THL. Yeah. Thank you. You too. Keep on killing it. (laughs) I'm sorry. I'm I'm tired. It's all good. The hottest. Yeah. It's all all good, base. Watching people play BGs is tiring. I get you. It is. Really is. Yeah. (laughs) But but anyways, folks, that's gonna it's gonna wrap it up here for Sunday night showdown. Did just have the two matches, sadly. but, you know, it's also a good time to plug this in there. You know, if you want your match to be streamed, uh, you know, we always have slots open. So either hit up Saku, myself, Donde, or Lotus Knights, and uh, we'll be sure to try to get you into um, one of these nights here to get yep. your match on stream because we love we love casting them. We love showing them off. And the people at home, I know, love it as well. So that's that. If you ever want to be streamed, hit one of us up. Um, but outside of that, Dr. Fish, Saku, any... Any last words for the folks at home? Peace. I got nothing. Okay. I got something. <laughs> Not a goodbye Watch or anything. our shows. Watch our shows. Well, we got Wild Note, Mondays, 9 o'clock. Uh, the Salon. Saloon. I call it the, the Salon. Because it's Ron Mexico <laughs> in his hair. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely, definitely so, the Salon. So, <laughs> the Saloon, Tuesdays at 9. Uh, Wednesdays at 9 is the Heart Center. Uh, then mm-hmm. we have Thursday for uh, Tavern Talk at, uh, I think it's going to be at 9 o'clock this week. Um, then we have our wonderful shows from Friday and Saturday and Sunday. So, lots of shows all week long. Check out YouTube for previous shows. And as Brushy said, anybody that's interested in streaming that's within the THL, hit us up. All right, hit folks. Hit us up. Y'all have a wonderful night. Y'all have a great week, rest of your weekend. Uh, if you watch football, have fun watching Sunday Night Football tonight. Um, but outside of that, y'all stay beautiful and y'all stay wonderful. Stay safe out there. Yep, and stay safe. See you later. See y'all. See ya. Yeah, you gotta be kidding me!